Hi, my name is Madhvi Patel, and today I'll be talking about sociality, or being social, which is under chapter one of the book, Super Connected. So everyone knows that humans are naturally social beings. We need to, we're drawn to each other in order to fulfill many of our needs, such as safety, shelter, companionship, and love. But spending too much time on our devices leaves us underdeveloped, both intellectually and emotionally. The world is better faced in the community or of others because it makes us less vulnerable. So I'll begin with sociality, which is people's tendency to form connections and bonds with one another and to live life in harmony with others. A lot of this can be accomplished with technology and social media. As you know, everyone has a social media account these days. People coordinate the actions, thoughts, and emotions with others to form social ties. There's no necessary physical face-to-face -face with others to get to know them and determine the extent of interpersonal similarities, commonalities, and collaborations. Nowadays, people can meet online or they can just FaceTime and they don't even have to meet online. Technology mediates between people and aids in the flow of information passed from person to person. It allows people to discover the kind of commonalities that can inspire social connections. It doesn't deter face-to-face -face interaction, rather it prompts it and makes it more likely to occur. Technology has made everyone's lives into a more techno-social life. So technology helps with social connections and relationships, obviously. It enables, pe it enables more people to form and maintain social connections helps to make dates and get-togethers physically. The use of digital technology has had an overall positive impact on society. Nowadays, there's apps like Tinder and, you know, people just meet online these days. They don't even feel the need to meet people in real life. Some people are shy, so technology helps them get to know others better when their contact is digital at first rather than face-to-face. -face. They can get more comfortable speaking behind a screen rather than having to just go on a blind date and meet face to face. Distance can enhance closeness. Technology helps because it helps people across the world have long distance relationships. Before, people couldn't really date if they were living like in different countries, but now it's like distance doesn't mean anything. You can FaceTime every night and still be in a relationship and have a relationship. People are always able to engage in frequent interactions that make the relationship heartier and more likely to continue face-to-face. -face. So now I'll be talking about contact. Technology can be used to check in on friends and family. Let's be honest, everyone has Facebook stalked someone, you know, sometime or another. And people post updates so everyone can remain in the know. Everyone, for some reason, wants to know what everyone else is doing, so. People can use technology to arrange get-togethers. You can just send out invites, party invites, just see who can come, who can't come. You don't even have to call people anymore. People are more likely to have close, relating friendships and to form local neighborhood relationships than non-internet users. Next, I'll be talking about the downsides of technology, which of course, there would be a couple. While the internet and social media enhances users' ability to remain connected to one another, some people have difficulty in making connections digitally. Technology can't be expected to have a uniform effect on all users. Of course, some people would prefer it, some people would rather just prefer to meet face-to-face. -face. Still, more internet and digital media users, especially those who have social media, are open to enhance experiencing sociability and even deep, meaningful connections online. Many receive or exchange substantial amounts of social support, help, and resources, but at the same time, risk and danger exist online as they do in every interpersonal setting. Of course, with people meeting online, you never know whose profile is fake, whose profile is real. You don't know who you're talking to online, if they're really the same person 